Oh my god. U.S. Secretary of State's 2021 Spotify playlist includes Demon Slayer's movie theme? Whoa! That's so based and anime-pilled? Yeah, I'm sorry to break it to anyone, but when you see something like a 59-year-old politician including an anime song in his Spotify playlist, it's just a manipulation tactic. In a public career that's all about optics, I don't feel like you have to be a tinfoil hat wearing cynic to believe that this is a stunt to appeal to younger voters. And as one user pointed out, either he's the most cultured listener with an impressively international taste of music that just conveniently includes music from nearly all of America's closest allies, or this is just a calculated facade. I'm gonna go with the later option and praise the intern responsible for this mashup. I think there's nothing worse than a celebrity or politician feigning interest in anime to appeal to a new crowd of support. I remember when Kim Kardashian made a reference to Zero Two and people were like, Beast Kim Kardashian, one of us, one of us. When in reality, she probably cares very little about anime. Don't put any public figure on a pedestal just because they say they like anime. You don't need some popular person to validate what you're doing. It's cool if they have a genuine interest, but I can tell you this, more often times than not, it's a calculated publicity stunt. That's gonna do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this subject in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next time.